time, your gateway to the world. A-F-R. American Freedom Radio. Give it to them. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. All right, all right. Good evening, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is, what the heck, here we are again, another day, Thursday, October 10. Oh, wow, 2013, and my, oh, my, how time is flying. I swear it was just like Happy New Year yesterday. Um, <laughs> we're here. Welcome to La La Land here on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. This is Soul Journeys Radio, and our guest tonight and every Thursday night is to Tobias Lars, otherwise known as St. Toby, one Kenobi. Um, we are talking about the old systems dying and new models uh, of, or for human civilizations, uh, systems of government, education, marriage, relationships, child rearing, spirituality, medicine, etc. Uh, why are they all going through fundamental changes right now? What will some of the new models look like? And will this change be anarchistic chaos or can it be relatively smooth? What can you do personally for yourself to make sure these transitions work for you and not against you? Tobias is the author of one of books, Listening to the Sun and Awakening Souls, which you can find at his website at Soul Counseling. Dot com, or you can go to courseofawakening.com and find out about his teleseminars on Sunday, uh, different times for everywhere in the world. That's courseofawakening.com. And if you'd like to join us for the text chat tonight, that's over at souljourneysradio.com. And any questions or comments, the number is 218 339 8525. That's 218 218- Three three nine eighty five twenty five, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little nervous here. There's obviously uh, old systems dying, and lots of changes uh, coming on. Uh, starting with the big one, Tobias being on time and not interrupting that entire long, boring intro. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> What do we do? How do we deal with that transition? <laughs> How you doing tonight? Can I talk now? Oh, <laughs> ever? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chick, man. You know how it goes. <laughs> I still feel uncomfortable when you do the St. Toby thing. I know. That's there's why I do ca- it. There's a caveat. I know. There's a caveat there. We are all saints in potential. Of course, we're all pieces of source. So I'll, I'll just reframe it in my head, in my mind. Yes, in the potential sense and blah, blah, blah. You know, just as you were reading that intro, I was, I love synchronicity now. You know, and synchronicity has always been around forever. And then Carl Jung, you know, started talking about it. And then the Sting read about it from Carl Jung, and the police had an album, and blah, blah, blah. But now it's becoming much more into the collective consciousness, you know. And just as you were saying, so I have synchronicity kind of all the time, uh, every day, multiple times, kind of like multiple orgasms, you know. Multiple mini enlightenment orgasms. That's what synchronicity is. (laughs) That sounds about right. (laughs) Because you're kind of going, oh, my God, I was just thinking that, blah, blah, blah. When you were reading about the transition, can it happen smoothly or do we need to go through anarchy and chaos? At that exact same time, I was look, looked at uh, web, one of my tabs and my Internet and it says, an old model, so is this change happening naturally and smoothly? So I just love that stuff. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, maybe hey, for fun no. and orgasmic synchronicity to all. <laughs> exactly. For those of us that want it, it's all around. How can it not be? How can it not be? That which organizes all things, every photon, every piece of quanta, every known and unknown dimension has organization to it. I mean, just 
look around in the world, seasons, you know, animals, everything, us, our cycles, our natural cycles in the human bodies, the moon, the tides, it's all perfect orchestration. So we've come to fear this natural flow movement of different frequencies, seasons, if you will. Now, we're all pretty comfortable with or we realize or live within, quote, four seasons in Earth, winter, spring, summer, fall. Well, so wouldn't there be maybe galactic seasons? Galactic seasons. Maybe there's seasons in the galaxy. Maybe these are what's called in the, the, the Vedantic tradition, the sattva, the kali, the treta, the yugas, the ages. Or in the Greek tradition, the, you know, Iron Age, Bronze Age, Silver Age, Golden Age. Maybe those exist also galactically. And they imply different frequencies, fundamental frequencies that underpin the creation because it's all frequency. You know, Tesla, like Tesla said, and you've heard it. I know I'm preaching to the choir mostly here probably, but, um, Light, frequency, and vibration. If you know, want to know the secrets of the universe, know that start unraveling the knowledge of light, frequency, and vibration. And so as these fundamental frequencies change as we move into a different season, next time spring comes around, try to stop it. Get out there and go, no grass, no, you're not allowed to grow because I don't want to mow this summer. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's and that's insane, obviously, you know. But that's exactly what our uncivilization has been trying to do for a long time. We're trying to control these frequencies, these natural flowing frequencies, right? And we're trying to tell spring not to come. We're trying to tell the river not to flow. Literally, our civilization is doing that. Just, you know, a few hours from where I'm sitting here in Sedona, we have the uh, Hoover Dam. Glen Canyon Dam creates Lake Powell. Lake Powell's beautiful, but it destroyed Glen Canyon. Glen Canyon, some people would say, was even more beautiful than the Grand Canyon. Or it put it underwater. How long are those dams, those damn dams? We're damning our we're damming our planet. Obviously, we're trying to control things that are so much bigger than us. That's just an example. And then the Chinese, of course, now are building the world's biggest dam because they want to be bigger and better because since they're needing to prove their themselves to, to the world now. But so this or or well, what's the difference between damming the Colorado River, Glen Canyon at the beginning of the Grand Canyon, and the Hoover Dam at Lake Mead, which is at the end of the, the Grand Canyon, you could sort of say. Little Colorado, the Colorado River all the way. And we completely changed the habitat in the Grand Canyon by, by damming the upper Grand Canyon, because now we only let out cold water, the same temperature, regulated flow all year long. Well, it's not natural, so you get you don't get the floods, you don't get the dirty, you know, um, mineralized, muddy waters. And so all these species are, you know, it, we're creating a new uh, biosphere with it. Is this healthy to try? Who's going to win, the Colorado River or the Hoover Dam? Yeah. In the same, that's insane, I know. So who's going to win in us? Because yeah. as within, so without, in the micro and the macro, we are reflections of the larger universe. The human brain has the same number of brain cells as stars that are in our galaxy. The human brain has to say, I know it's so hard to conceive this because once you hear these truths, something in you starts to awaken, holy cow, there's something bigger going on. And the scientism followers start squealing 
Yeah, it's just coincidence. It's just not true. I'm going to prove and find a paper in a peer-reviewed journal somewhere that proves it absolutely wrong, wrong, wrong. Right? The more the more the established controllers start squealing, the closer they are to their dissolution, their downfall. Mm. Whether that's quote medical authorities. No, well, let me finish the other thread first. So that, that thousand stars that are literally in your brain, the thousand ganglia neuron, the neurons rather, that are in your brain, the bil 10 billion, roughly 10 billion neurons in your brain, roughly 10 billion stars in the, in the Milky Way galaxy. That's just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. How much coincidence do we need? How much synchronicity do we need? until we realize there's a giant orchestration behind the whole thing and that we can trust it. If we had to depend on scientists to create spring or flowers, what kind of, fla what kind of flower would a mechanical engineer create? <laughs> yeah, good point. Would, would you want a bouquet of 50 of those presented to you on your, on your uh, uh, wedding day? Fifty me me mechanical flowers, nice. So, <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> yes, very romantic. Ugh. <laughs> so that same damming of the river is no different than the damming of the Kundalini life force, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost that we dam at the locks on our spinal column. It's exact in the, at, in the micro, the body, the human body, is the earth body. You are a microcosm of the earth body. The exact, the exact mixture of water, minerals, trace minerals, oils, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, copper, magnesium, iron, palladium, gold, the exact quantities that the Mother Gaia Earth has is the exact quantities that exist in your body. Can't forget that delicious radiation, too. <laughs> and that's, right, and that's starting to happen now, too. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we are perfect reflectors. So that which happens to us, as we start damming the life force out here, it's simply a reflection of us damning, damning the life force in us. The Hoover Dam is located right above your second chakra, between your navel and your sex organs. The Hoover Dam, the Berlin Wall came down because literally in the collective consciousness and the morphic field of the collective, enough of us no longer wanted that level of separation. That's beautiful. That's super encouraging because what that means, if you want to change the world, change yourself. Mm -hmm. You can do that. We feel overwhelmed as individuals, you know. Oh, what can I do? I'm just a single person. I'm nothing. The government is hopelessly in gridlock. They're idiots. There's nothing we can do. The country's going down the tubes. People are going to die massively. We're about to go into World War III, and there's nothing I can do. Let me just sedate myself and, and die a slow, horrible death. <laughs> that, yeah, if you feel like I need to create the .org, you know, we are change.org. I, I know there's probably a group like that. No offense. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, probably like a hundred of them. Yeah. No, I mean, I care. yeah, great. That's wonderful. But if you feel like I can't do that, you don't have to. Love where you are. Love your dog. Love your, you know, get real with your partner. Start, you know, moving your energy in you and you will contribute to moving the energy on Earth. It's a direct correlation reflection. So also... Yes. So as these changes come, like the tides, billions of tons of water are moving on the planet. Twice a day, the moon moves billions of tons of water. And, you know, 28 day cycle, the moon. This is a natural cycle. Happens to coincide with women's cycle, but that's just a coincidence, too. It's just complete coincidence. 
has nothing to do with any synchronicity whatsoever. Please don't look here. Don't look behind the curtain. Follow what your leaders tell you. It's just a pure coincidence. So these giant forces of pulling gravitational forces, can we stop the tide? Can you go up to the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia and go, nah, we've outlawed the tide. <laughs> we're going to outlaw it, and, and then we're going to pray it away. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's pray it away. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. But so you us trying to muck with our own internal cycles. Here's a bunch of artificial hormone pills, ladies. Let's cut out your uterus. Let's remove your natural hormone generators, and I'll give you some made by Smith, Klein, Glaxo, Beecham, Bayer, etc. Oh, and those deadly feelings, you got to make sure to get rid of those too. Right. Who's going to win? The river or the dam? The river wins. So the river of life force, we have to get this through our heads if we want a relatively easy. When you're in the river, if you fall in the river and it's going pretty rapid, the best thing you can do is to relax, pull your arms and legs in, breathe, fill your lungs with air, fill your air with lungs, <laughs> and and float with it. Go fill your with air with lungs. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna practice that here on this little break. So hang on, everyone. Uh, why don't you practice that too and let us know how it goes? Stay tuned. We will be right back. It's time to get real. And here. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilan, brown seaweed extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilan. There's nothing else like Modifilan. It is the richest in alginate, phocoidin, organic iodine, and lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Phocoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifilan banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coach. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. No rules. No rules. No taboo topics. No taboo topics. No fear of doom. No fear of doom. We are. We are. American Freedom Radio. American Freedom Radio. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us here tonight, Soul Journeys Radio, on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Old systems dying and new models for human civilizations here on Earth. Uh, Tobias Lars is our special guest. SoulCounseling.com is the website. And uh, Tobias, I was practicing that filling up my air with lungs. Um, but most of the air is in my head, and I just wasn't quite sure if I could stick my lung. You know, I was having trouble trying to stick it through my ears. So can you help us out with that, please? Don't think about it, honey. Just keep okay. your air in your head, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's working for me. Woo-hoo! All righty. <laughs> I just, just want to make sure I put get some good sexist comments out there. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Every show, you must, uh, you know, insult us. Insult, uh, absolutely. Insult yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we leave off? It doesn't really matter. So we were doing the micro and the macro. Lungs, lungs so, in the air. Micro, yeah. macro. Yes. Yeah, and so if there's seasons on Earth, galactic seasons will change the frequencies as well. So there's there's upgrading of energies where we become more aware of other civilizations in the galaxy. You know, there's multiple human civilizations across star systems in this galaxy that have transcended uh, space time. In other words, they can travel instantly, stargate jump, if you will, through time space. Rosenberg, uh, Bridges, 
you know, a la Einstein, um, and so forth. It's not about traveling at the speed of light. That's like comparing a, you know, walking to, I don't know, a Porsche, you know what I'm saying? But it's not, it's beyond that. So anyway, as we move into these cycles, there was times on Earth where before we had communication with other families across the galaxy. The Egyptian civilization, obviously, that's not built by humans, that pyramid or the technology. We've lost it. Yes, it's true. 18 major civilizations have existed on Earth before that were more advanced, in a sense, as far as energy systems. I wouldn't say technology always than we are currently. But so as this new tidal wave of energy, imagine a, a, a wave of energy moving that's bathing, that's coming through the sun as well. These are literal frequencies outside of the visible light, even inside the, the whole spectrum, the visible, the x-ray, ultraviolet, gamma, so forth, and other and finer spectrums in the magnetic fields. We really haven't studied magnetic fields very much at all. Um, you know, what is the effect of magnetic fields? We say electromagnetic, but we're mostly interested in light, light frequency. What about the magnetic? Well, that's a reflection because the light is the father, the light is the male, the yang principle, and the magnetic, the space is the feminine. So we've kind of focused on the light. Everyone's yakking about white light, white light, white light, you know? And it's like too much light without you being grounded, you get the spiritual nut jobs that we get, you know? The, the wackadoodle, yeah, listen to the Ashtar, the Astar command about ascension, and people get fooled because they don't have enough magnetic grounded mm, in their belly and their root chakras, you know, is this BS or is this true? So it's very important, you know, otherwise you get fooled by all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, we're going to be ascending into the fourth dimension on March 14th. Really? <laughs> you know, that's going to happen for the whole planet? What, the magic wand's going to be waved and all of a sudden everybody ascended out of here? Really? So Did that push the green button. <laughs> yeah. Get real, get real, get real, yes. But part of this process is... You're, as you start to wake up from program living, let's do a social now, right? Across the board, medical, spiritual, religion, all of it. I mean, everything is going to change, of course. I just posted a thing of a beautiful woman who, who tried to put on a one-fitted bathing suit. I mean, she literally has a full bathing suit all the way down to her socks, all the way up, but it actually showed the female form in 1907, okay? She's completely covered but it showed the female form. She was arrested for indecency, you know. Um, so there's progress here. Or Fulton tells people, I can, I can run a boat on steam energy. And they literally gather along the Hudson River with picnic baskets to laugh at Fulton's folly, you know, that he could actually, a steam engine, who've ever heard of such a thing? What an idiot that guy mm -hmm. is. You know, or the Wright brothers, people watching, going, these guys are morons. Don't they know that the laws of the universe, of science, and of God has made it impossible for uh, uh, objects that are heavier than air to fly? It's impossible. It's impossible. So this whole idea, when you start breaking through, let's pick one. Let's say the scientism followers... And my dad, like I've said before, was a nuclear physicist inside the system. I headed in that direction for a little while myself. Um, you know, if they all of a sudden, their adherence to strict materialism, Cartesian logic materialism, in other words, I, I will not look inside myself. I only look outside myself for proof. Mm. Feel that? I won't look. Science is basically, I will only look at the outside I will never look at myself on the at the inside for what's going on. That truly is like combing your hair, but combing the mirror. Combing the mirror. You're comb, you're looking at the stuff outside yourself. You're mistaking the image in the mirror for yourself. That's what science does. That's the fundamental flaw with it. Not that it's not, science isn't bad. It's just a method of observation and testing. Does this happen if I do that? Cause and effect. That's great. 
but to, to give the power to science that somehow it can explain the fundamentals of creation, mm -hmm. now yeah. that's, that's freaking insane. Creation, is, love, uh, Mother Nature, uh, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's like saying, uh, you want to meet me? Yeah, in the mirror over there. That's me. Go talk to me in the mirror. <laughs> go sleep with you. Want to sleep with me? You want to have sex with me? Yeah, go go talk to that cold glass over there with a silver lining backing on it. That's me. That's insane. But that's what we. That's when science says. I don't believe it unless I see it. They don't look at their subconscious, the assumptions, the belief systems, the presumptions, the prejudgments, right? So if a system like that, a closed system, if a system remains closed, it cannot say, I don't believe in the sun, and the sun won't come up tomorrow. You know, you can't do it. So as this energy shifts on the planet, there's going to be some severe shocks to the closed systems. To scientism, religionism, medical, blind, any blind authority you've placed outside of yourself, because truly the only authority, the real author of your own life, the real golden voice, AU, of your own life exists within you. Every teacher has said so. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven is within you. Buddha says, Ask who, or uh, Ramana Maharshi says, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? He doesn't say, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Who's that guy? You know, yeah. Introspection. Use the mirror, but don't believe the mirror is you. That's insane. Use the mirror of the world. The world is mirroring. The world is great. Science could be awesome once it realizes, ah, that which is happening out here is mirroring something in my consciousness. This is the observer effect, that the observer affects what it is around it, literally. That's a whole long, boring science technical thing. Nobody wants to hear about that. No, not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, we affect the world by how you, by who is looking, who is looking determines the world. Who is looking determines the world, because we are literally collapsing space-time. We're collapsing the energetic waves into forms. The observer does that. Mm. It's collapsing the wave, the energy is a wave until you look at it. Then you make forms out of it. That's why you wake up in the morning, you have two seconds of everything is liquid, I have no clue who I am, I'm moving from some other universe, or in meditation you might feel that. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, boom, I collapsed my world back into this rigid thing that my subconscious and my belief systems have projected outside of me that this is how it is. Mm. This is perhaps why we find skeletons in caves in India or in China and walls that have somehow walked halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck. Mm. How do you explain that? A wall built out of blocks, and here's a skeleton that's inside the wall, except its bones are between stones and perfectly. Did they build the stones around the skeleton? Of course not. What happened? Some Taoist master was melting into the melting of the pure energy and decided, I'm going to try to walk through this wall, and then he freaked out halfway through and he froze himself into place. I know that's far out. I know that's really far out for a lot of people. But these things exist. These artifacts, these anecdotes, anecdotal evidence is no evidence at all. Mm. Okay. Well, what is? A mm. fact is anecdotal. A single, single fact is anecdotal, period. Anyway, that's all mental masturbation with scientism. So when scientism all of a sudden will have someone stand in front of them and materialize an apple in their left hand, the minds of the scientists will start having meltdowns. It is no different than um, a mother or a father finding out that the priest that they completely trusted is having anal sex with their little boy. There's a meltdown of belief systems, but the power of denial is almost as strong <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, 
it is able to rationalize unbelievably. So when something starts coming like liquid liquid energy, stargates, time jumping, when this stuff starts happening, rigid science is going to have a very hard time explaining a slit in space time that someone walks into and disappears. Right? So there will be shocks to the system, but the evolution of the galaxy, the rotating galaxy, like I said in the beginning, you cannot stop spring. So it's, now I'm being really far out with some of this stuff right now. Um, but whether this is in medicine or religions or science or personal relationships, the new, more liquid, more fluid ways, let's take it to something like marriage. The current model for the vast majority part, there's a few exceptions, is one woman, one man for the model for sort of committed relationship, whether you call it union or marriage or whatever. That's the current model on Earth that's been programmed in for whatever reasons. Is that the only model that can exist? Why can't there be two men and one woman, two women and you know, 12 people living together? Many permutations. Visiting husbands. I bet a lot of you women were like, you know, I could just use a husband like four days a week. The rest of the time, go to your own house. Or four, four, four days a month, I meant. Four days a month. Yeah, because I need room for the other 11. <laughs> exactly. So as, yeah. these new, so as these new models come into to being, they're going to shock the system. You're going to have the people decry it's the fall of Western civilization. It's going to bring on the apocalypse that two men live together. <laughs> right? That's what's going to happen. Whether it's rigid scientism, rigid religionism, rigid medicine, rigid marriage, you know, how it should be done, rigid spirituality. Nothing stays the same. Everything is fluid and changing in our universe. So these old models are going to come down. The authority we've placed out, the general underlying fundamental shift is from this. Placing authority outside yourself to placing it back where it truly is, inside yes. yourself. This is a perfect example going on this week, even though I don't have TV up here in Sedona at the moment. I cannot help but hearing about the government shutdown. The Grand Canyon, you can't visit, there's a sign, an electric sign, in Oak Creek Canyon, just outside of Sedona, it says Grand Canyon, you know, park closed. This is wonderful. Hmm. This is absolutely beautiful. It's fantastic that our government is shutting down. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> of course it's not shutting down. But this is a preview yeah. of more and more of us are going, we don't trust you, you bastards. We don't trust you're in a gridlock. You're reflecting us because we're divided inside ourselves as a country and in our bodies. The male fights the female. The heart fights the mind. The upper body fights the lower body. You know, the blue high school versus the red high school, right? The, it's ridiculous. We've been completely divided and conquered. So, of course, that's going to reflect in a Congress that's 51 to 49 or whatever, you know, a Senate. Of course, it's perfect. And what it's showing us is that, that we can't put our power in Washington or in anything outside ourselves. It's beautiful. There's sand in the gears. The thing is going to die. It's going to die. The old system of government, I don't care how sacred you hold it, it's going to die. Thank God for that. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Bring it on. But it is that one, Tobias Lars, here on SoulJourneysRadio.com. It's time to get real and heal. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilan Brown Seaweed Extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called Laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of Laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilan. There's nothing else like Modifilan. It is the richest in alginate, phocoidin, organic iodine, and lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Phocoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. 
Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifiland banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coach. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. Yo, what's up? Check this out. The voice of the revolution. American Freedom Radio. American Freedom Radio. Welcome back. It is Toby and the hot dog vendor here tonight. Soul Journeys Radio. We are talking about uh, old systems dying. Woohoo! Bring it on. And uh, we left off uh, mentioning, uh, you know, the uh, what we're calling the government shutdown going on right here. So I don't know. I'm all for it. I'm for mm-hmm. shutting it all down. Don't want a new government. Don't want an old government. I would like to see a world where we took responsibility for ourselves and stopped giving our power away to people who, you know, would gladly misuse it um, for our own good, of course. But I don't know. What do you think about that? Do you think self-responsibility or not having a, uh, you know, uh, a slave master we vote for could work? Yeah, not tomorrow, but it's mm-hmm. it's it's coming that way for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, just a simple thing like if this country really believed in in uh, true democracy, and democracy is not liberal, is you know tyranny of the majority. If 51 people say we should do this, then 49 people, you guys are out of luck. That's tyranny of the majority. That's not you no know, having rights. That's having tyranny of what, you know, it's what did Benjamin Franklin say? He says, uh, democracy is uh, two wolves and one lamb voting on what's for dinner. <laughs> and liberty is a well-armed lamb, you know, really <laughs> able to defend itself. A vegan and a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. To me, it's a symptom of enough of us are realizing that we're not blindly trusting. And like in the break, yeah, yeah, we were joking, or the, the Dave was saying, yeah, it's a hot dog vendor that caused 9-11. That's the real culprit. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, but yeah, we, but blindly fo- believing, blindly believing, blindly trusting the medical doctors to say, yes, you should give your little children when they're instantly one day old, massive amounts of shots, 36 shots within a year and a half, five years or whatever it is. And there will be absolutely no side effects. And there's no money, money behind this. The fact that Norway, Iceland and, and uh, Finland have the highest health for kids and they only give their kids nine to 13 shots. And we're number in America's give we give our kids thirty six shots and our kids are the thirty seventh most unhealthy on the planet. Yeah. Behind Cuba. Hello, people. Wake up. <laughs> but vaccines are good for you. And we've studied all the vaccines. They have nothing to do with autism. And the fact is they've only done studies on on the two out of the vaccines out of the thirty six related to autism. But it couldn't possibly anyway. So as long as you blindly trust the government, blindly trust your doctor, blindly trust what your mind tells you even, blindly trust the programming, the patterns, the tradition, blindly trust what you've been told about love, about sex, about relationships, then you get wake-up calls because the tides and the spring and the galactic seasons don't give a flying shit what your programming is. Yeah. God is no respecter of persons. What does that mean? You could say the universe is no respecter of fake temporary civilizations. Who's going to win? Mother Earth with all her magma? Or, you know, our little highways in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go, Mommy! Mommy! It's insane. Let me see. The San Andreas fault or cement? Who's going to win? It's it's crazy. So 
going with this these changes is really our only option. Like I said, if you fall in the river, you know, you got to pull your legs and arms in, go with that big flow until it gets calmer, then you can get out on the side if you so choose. Or you can enjoy the ride or you can panic and drown. It's up to you. This ride that's happening right now, this dissolving of nations, this dissolving of governments, this dissolving of the old banking systems, this dissolving of the way we do relationships, this dissolving of gender prisons, this dissolving of, of the mind, the ego mind ruling the rest of the energetic chakras in the body, this dissolving of these old systems is happening. That's yeah. foregone conclusion. It's You cannot tell the galaxy to stop spinning. Your choice is, do you want to be crushed by it, by blindly adhering to my father's, father's, father's belief systems? Or do you want to say, okay, I'm a flexible human being and I'm allowing these new things to be birthed in me? Will you allow a, yourself to be born again? A second birth, a third birth, a fourth birth, a fifth birth. Otherwise, you're doomed. Or, you know, you will be removed. <laughs> That's okay. Many people on the planet are going to be just translated to other places. That's, how, that's the model we've been doing it now. Now, the old way is, you know, um, once you move from horse and buggy to cars, most of those people have to die off. It's too much of a radical change for them. But nowadays, we're moving into a place where we literally live multiple lifetimes in the same lifetime. This is why people get married, get divorced, they change, they become a whole new different person. Because we're learning to be more fluid. One of the signs of the Sattva Yuga, the Golden Age, or, you know, these higher frequency and spiritual electromagnetic energies familiarity age that we're moving into, is you have to get more fluid. You have to get more fluid. Who, who survives the earthquake, the oak tree or the steel and glass building? The oak tree. The oak tree has, loves it. It goes, hey, I'm going for a ride. Check it out. I like it. The steel and glass building pop out 200-pound windows that kill the people walking down below. You know, what do you want? Do you want to have your body be made of steel, glass, and cement? Or do you want it to be made of organic materials and fluidity and, you know, enjoy the ride? I want to enjoy the ride. Yeah. So this is going to happen everywhere, whether it's inside how we have sex, you know. Um, you can be, you know, male energy, female energy, mixed energy, together energy, androgynous energy, uh, gender roles, not to, freedom of choice is coming. Self-choice. Okay, here's the change, just the big change again. Outer authority is changing, morphing, transforming into self-choice. Outer authority dictators, outer dictators, whether it's outright government or medical community or whatever telling you you must do this, is going to change into inner self-choice. We're going from outer power to inner power. Instead of uniforms, power, police, armies, we're going to go to inner power. The right thing. This is coming. Now, during this transition, there's going to be a lot of gnashing of teeth and wailing. <laughs> mm. Wailing and howling and crying and dying. Because this is going to happen whether you like it or not. When you're 13 years, when you're 10, 11 years old and you say, I don't want to go through puberty, I don't want to do it. Can, <laughs> yeah. Can you stop it? Oh, uh, we all try, I think. <laughs> <laughs> can you say, no, I don't want to grow anymore, I just want to stay right here? No. So we can't change that this change is here. And so this is the change that's coming. We're going to go from... Government, for example, is going to go from centralized government in Washington, D.C. It's going to become more and more decentralized. It's going to be states and then local communities, uh, you know, and we're not going to have uh, uh, we're not going to have countries anymore. We're not going to have countries anymore. Feel this. Feel this. Countries. I've always yeah, as a kid, you're like. I'm not really? going to let you break that word down, Tobias. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> I don't know. It might be. Never mind. Nope. Not allowed on this show. It's the, <laughs> rising, it's the rising of the countries. Let's just put it that way. And, um, countries and countries. Yeah, I love it. All right. Um, yeah, beautiful. So the, the borders of countries are going to go away. Nationalism, patriotism is a dying thing. And I know that's harsh for people that are wedded to, you know, um, Flag. flags. Yeah, that flag is a idolatry, by the way. It really is. There's nothing wrong with the be- Take the beautiful part of it. I love my country. I, I still, you know, I love my country. Beautiful. But don't let that be used to, you know, get you to send your 18-year-olds to die for oil in some far-off country. That's a total lie anyway. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's dying out. The old way of, of, of nationalism is dying out. There's going to be a human family, but it's not going to be a new world order, central world government. No, 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 no. That's not what's coming. That's going to be the threat of that. There's going to be attempts to that, but that's not what's going to happen. It's going to be a decentralization of local communities all over the planet, different types and we will still have the internet, and we will own our own money system. That's what's coming for those that want it. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it on, and uh, watch out for those countries. Um, hang on, everyone, though. We're going to be right back at Tobias Lars. He is a personal awakening coach and the author of Listening to the Sun and Awakening Souls. His website is soulcounseling.com. Stay tuned. We will be back at the top of the second hour after this short break. Souljourneysradio.com. It's time. To get real and heal. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilan Brown Seaweed Extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called Laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of Laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilan. There's nothing else like Modifilan. It is the richest in alginate, phocoidin, organic iodine, and lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Phocoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifiland banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coaching. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. No rules. No rules. No taboo topics. No taboo topics. No fear of doom. No fear of doom. We are. We are. American Freedom Radio. American Freedom Radio. My country is a beef, sweet land. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It was the hot pussy of the I <laughs> So I, I think we figured it out, Tobias. Uh, we were discussing during the break the way to um, keep men uh, interested in Mother Nature in the forest is uh, just uh, replace cunt trees with cunt trees. <laughs> like, you said that. Oh, I wasn't yes. supposed to say that out loud. Oh. Well, I hope it's all right. It's, you see, I'm on good behavior. You're the one. I know. What's up with that? The world because I can just proving that. that I can be semi-normal, like this conversation is semi-normal. For me. It is. Oh, we sure. are the new normal. By the way, folks, it's true. <laughs> it's true. The majority of people, every poll, by the way, in America, Newsweek, uh, Time, New York Times, Scripps, Zogby, blah, blah, blah. The majority of people do not buy the official, this is just a litmus test for our country, explanation of 9-11. As an example, the majority, less than half, buy the official story. Others are not sure, don't believe it at all, pretty sure the government knew something about it, blah, blah, blah. The point is, we are the majority now. The cultural creatives, the new ways of thinking, we don't agree on everything, but that's fine. But the point is, 
the old system of authoritarian outer control is dissolving. Whether that's your doctor saying, yes, shoot your kids up with 36 vaccination shots before they're five, or, you know, yeah, you know, the Pentagon, it's impossible for every pilot. Every pilot that tries it cannot fly that plane into the Pentagon, but, you know, it's an obvious missile, for example. Um, you know, seven out of ten marriages blow up, but surely, we, you know, obviously people know that this isn't working. The old system is not working. Um, the old schooling system of our kids, they're rebelling. There's an epidemic of, quote, labeling kids ADHD and so forth, bipolar, this and that and the other, because the soul is is demanding now, is insisting this old rigid system is not going to work, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> We're normal. <laughs> we are the majority. We are the yeah. majority. So normal People, changes based on how we feel today at this yeah. moment. <laughs> normal. There is no norm. In the, new, in the new system, by the way, there will be no norm. There will I be, like Norm. There will be, I like Norm, too. He was really good. I know um, they got pissed at him at uh, Saturday Night Live for some reason, but I really like Norm. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I can't be pissing off the church lady. Or Hansi Franz. <laughs> Norm was great. <laughs> Get Norm's last name. But anyway, yeah, so the new system is going to be you're exploring that. You're exploring that. I'm exploring being by myself. I'm exploring having one mate. I'm exploring sharing. Like the way I feel with my dogs, I'm like, if Bentley was, wants to go stay with someone else, why should he have to live a routine life his whole life? The same dog food, the same yard his whole life, that's no different than a zoo. So I'm, if Bentley, I tell people, oh, you want to, they fall in love with him and they connect with him and go, you want him for a week? You can have him for two weeks <laughs> until they're tired of him or, you know, they're ready to, you know, do, you know, that's enough. What's wrong with that? See the flexibility right there? Start thinking outside the box. Of course, I feel great. That's that's fun for him to explore. You know, be with someone else for a while. Go explore a different house. Have some other dogs to hang out with. Besides <laughs> the little pack we have. For example, ownership of other beings is so old world, old paradigm. Whether it's in personal human relationships, you can only ever have sex with me, period, for the next 50 years. And no one thinks this is insane. That's absolutely insane. I got one worse than that. I'm having sex with a stranger in my dreams. See? <laughs> Both and me. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Of course, we're multidimensional beings as well. So we're going to start one of the changes that's going to happen. I've had a direct, solid experience. I mean, literally like conscious experience, not... You know, I wasn't debating if it was a dream or anything where I'm literally on another planet. I'm consciously fully there. I wake up back here in my bed in Sedona. I nudge joy and say, let me tell you what's happening. I want to remember this. I want to I want to anchor this experience so I, I don't suppress it. This will start happening, too. You know, this uh, increase in knowing that we're multidimensional, talking to, quote, angels or ETs or the fairy kingdoms and so forth. This is coming. No matter how many drugs you throw at it, you're just going to um, make the inevitable dam, the Hoover Dam breaking, that Hoover Dam in your medulla oblongata, if you've been shoving, you know, Seroquel or I don't even know what it is that they give to people, lithium or, you know, lithium in its natural state, by the way, is fine. You know, uh, lithium spring water is great for you. You know, of course, dosing, be careful with it. But uh, naturally occurring stuff, it's all there. And our the whole new medical system is going to be us. It's going to be about real healing. I've driven by hospitals and seen the future vision of it's going to be places is going to, they're going to be more like spas. They're going to be spas 
with energy. There's going to be people doing ayahuasca. Imagine hospitals where you could come and do ayahuasca. <clears throat> Massage, therapy. This It's already happening, right? Naturopaths. There's a... Uh, Joy is talking to a doc. He's got an MD and a naturopathic, and he says, "I don't want to. Re I'm I'm relinquishing the MD thing, and I'm just doing the naturopathic." Okay. So the shift, the system is shifting over. The system is shifting over. So, actually, for many of us right now, it's just a matter of pulling your energy back, like this government quote shutdown. Uh, I know it's game playing. I understand that. It's just, you know, whatever. But that it's a symptom of that we're just so finally done with feeding them energy that when you quit feeding energy to it, it starts going into gridlock. One thing I realized, I'm completely unaffected by it. Yeah. I don't, I don't need people managing the wildlife for me. I don't need it. But it's also true we need that until... People need rules and laws as long as they don't have the natural rules and law, or the natural law. If you don't have the natural law in your own being and in your own heart, if you don't have in, inner law, then you need outer law. Of course. And a, a big majority of programmed humans still need outer law on this planet. So it's not about getting rid of the police force and the military tomorrow because and there is a significant portion of the population that would be danger to others and themselves. And they either need to die off or wake up. I'm being very direct. <laughs> Here, I got and, some hemlock for you. I don't Any really care. <laughs> Swine flu virus? Come on, bring it up. Let's go. Shoot it up, everyone. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I have to tell you this. I have to tell you this. When Why you have... Free? When you have Dr. Oz admitting to his own kids don't get the vaccinations, when you have a woman I know uh, in my extended family, I could say it that way, who works for, semi-retired now, for the World Health Organization, okay? Mm. That's in charge of epidemiology for the globe, meaning controlling viruses and plagues and outbreaks for the globe, World Health Organization. She's a scientist, medical doctor, researcher for a university. She sat here. I talked to Joy about it today to confirm it. She sat here at our table. Very nice woman. Loved her. If we go back and visit some of my old stomp grounds, I'll go see her again. She sat here and said, no, I don't. I don't. She's doing research papers on the necessities for certain vaccines. She said, no, but I don't take them myself. Yeah, pretty telling, huh? Mm-hmm. We'll sell it to you, but you're not going to take it. <laughs> yeah, for example. So, but if we're not smart enough to wake up to that, and if you blindly trust what someone tells you, and you're not using your internal guidance system, you're kind of fodder for the machine. Yeah. So if you blindly follow a religion that's spoon-feeding you some stuff, can you say Mormonism, churchism, Catholicism, uh, Church of, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, Church of Christ, programmed Buddhism, programmed Hinduism, programmed, you know, uh, Islam, any programmed religionism, if you're blindly following that, you deserve to be raped, have all your money stolen, and your kids raped. You deserve it. And if you refuse to listen to the, the wake-up calls, the latest sexual scandal in the Catholic Church, shouldn't that... There's a whole movement now in Europe of people writing to all their churches and saying, take me off the rolls. I was baptized when I was six, whatever, two weeks old, against my will, and you put me on... Take me off. It's called unchurching yourself. Huge. I started some website kind of as a joke. Hundreds of thousands of people now are unchurching themselves. Yeah. So if you blindly believe outer authority, you are a lemming being led off the cliff. So this is how it has to be, whether that's following the doctors, the priests, or the politicians. Yeah. Don't get your DPP shot. Yeah. The doctors, the priests, and the politicians. You deserve it. You deserve it because you don't want to be responsible for your own life. This is the law of the universe. 
You have direct access to the, all the graces in the Jeshua. Jesus says it plainly. The kingdom of heaven is within, not without. Don't go look in the dusty books. Don't look at the guys wearing dresses. No. So I'm being kind of harsh. I know that. And it's very difficult times right now. It is harsh to realize, like it says in the back of my book, what if almost everything you've ever been told is a lie? And you're going to go through a phase of being really pissed off. The truth sets you free, but first it will really, really, really piss you off. Go Truth Brigade! <laughs> <laughs> and then when you go through that phase of being, you know, you realize, okay, okay. Then you start having compassion for your parents. God bless them. They did the best they know how for the, you know, the vast majority of them. They were programmed themselves. They were caught in it, you know. Blame is lame, and you start forgiving, you start understanding, but you start insisting also on now I'm going to tell my truth and start living my truth, and I as a soul am worth it. I do want to live. I want this new model. I don't want to kill 35 million cows a year just for feeding them their ground-up dead friends, you know. And then if you keep doing that and you get mad cow disease or, <clears throat> you know, Parkinson's, same thing, maybe, maybe, maybe. You deserve it. Because you're, you're not paying attention. Yeah. If you don't want to take responsibility for yourself, oh, there's millions of others that would like to do it for you. <laughs> and, and or the universe will reflect to you your wake-up calls. You build a dam and you live in Parker, Arizona, and then when the dam breaks, your whole house is washed away. It's just the way, you know, who's going to win, nature or the most well-laid plans of mice and men? Hmm. <laughs> no. So I'm encouraging people to, the good news is you are incredibly powerful. Each soul literally has the power of a sun, a potential star system. You know, 10 billion people on planet Earth, we are, we are the 10 billion aspects of individual stars from across the galaxy. Earth is a melting galactic melting pot. And it's all for free. It's all given to, as you start allowing these principles in you, the natural life force, the sex force, the heart force, the truth force, the intuition force, your pineal gland opening, your gut telling you, your heart having that energy field, your sexual chakra both being willing to receive and give, your root chakra grounding you to the earth, you're willing to receive and be given to, how can there be a shortage? There's no shortage. I realized for me, example, for example, over the last 15 years, I need to eat so much less food. Even if I go to the gym now and lift 225 pounds, do reps, this, that, and the other, you know, I'm working out with some weights to keep me grounded. Mm. I still don't need that much food. That shows me I'm not not by bread alone. Yeah. But by the very word. Well, what the word is, the sound, the amen. Amen. There's this light, frequency, and vibration is what we're made of. Not by bread alone. I have bread you know not of. I'm using Jesus' thing because that's the stuff that's been programmed into our heads in the Western world. If I was talking to Buddhists, I would be doing the Buddha thing. But I know we're not, you know, I'm preaching to the choir a little bit here, too. So receive the abundance. Go out there and literally feel the electromagnetic system, the electroencephalogram, the electrocardiogram that show the electromagnetic fields around your brain and your heart. Your spinal column is an antenna. The old systems are going to die. The people that used to make beaver pelt hats, you know, that thing that Abraham Lincoln wore, they don't sell a lot of those anymore. There's not going to be oil and gas 50 years from now that we're going to be using as power. Get off it. Start getting off the grid. Get into self-sufficiency. Get into run. If you're still working for giant unloving corporations, not all corporations are bad. There's very good organizations, beautiful organizations. Don't broad brush. Learn to discern. Learn to discern. For example, so this new model, feel this one. Feel the excitement of this. As governments, as individual nation governments fade away, they will. 
It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. You can't stop the time. Mm. The new model. Yeah, we'll come back to it. <laughs> yes, very true. Very well said, Tobias. Uh, can't wait to hear about the new model after these few short minutes. Stay tuned, everyone. We will be right back. Tobias Lars here on SoulJourneysRadio.com. It's time to get real and heal. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilan Brown Seaweed Extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called Laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of Laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilan. There's nothing else like Modifilan. It is the richest in alginate, phocoidin, organic iodine, and lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Phocoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifilan banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coach. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. Welcome to the world's meeting place. American. It's practically narcotic. Freedom. Oh, yes. I like very much. Radio. They're an American institution. American Freedom Radio. Welcome back and... Joining us here tonight, Soul Journeys Radio on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Our special guest tonight, Tobias Lars. He is a personal awakening coach, the author of one of my favorite books, Listening to the Sun. And as we were discussing in the chat at SoulJourneysRadio.com, uh, creator of InnerBodyAwakening.com. We were just talking about uh, astral injections. I I'm sorry, astral projections and uh, feeling the inner body, so might I suggest uh, checking out innerbodyawakening.com. Super easy and powerful method to get you there. And uh, Tobias, so you left off uh, talking about a, a new model. Uh, you mean like, what, is Christy Brinkley or Cindy Crawford, are they getting a little too old for you now? Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it. Hang on, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to reiterate about the government. You know, this to me, it's a foreshadowing of the metamorphosis back into decentralized instead of centralized authority, whether it's Mussolini or Hitler or the Tsar or Mao Zedong or Stalin or our, blah, quote, blah. Or our quote, Western free democratic government. Same difference. It's the same thing. Um, we're going to decentralize it. Feel the future. Feel no more banksters, no more banks, but some kind of money system that we all own and we have exchange via the Internet. But we have decentralized, localized populations around the world, around the world. Countries are gone. There's free energy technology, floating anti-gravity machines, you know, travel, blah, blah, blah. And... But it doesn't, the fear of we have to have a centralized government is going to go away. But we have to change first. We have to change inside ourselves first. We cannot be trusted with free energy as long as we have hoarding and wanting to control and own and, and aggrandize. It's considered a sickness in other civilizations across our, our galaxy, our universe, uh, that people want to hoard wealth or property. It's considered a sickness, really, because what it represents is something is lacking within them. It's a compensation technique. If I don't, if I feel very empty inside, then I can accumulate lots of outer things, wealth, power, that somehow will compensate for it. It's sort of like, you know, midlife crisis, red Corvette, blah, blah, blah. Right? And for bodybuilders need to have big muscles because they have small other parts. Exactly. So it's sort of considered a sickness in other parts. So this, but it has to change in us. 
Um, so this transition is coming no matter what. This shift of new models of education, new models of medicine, really about healing the root word of that Greek holos to make whole again, integrating instead of subdividing, instead of having subdivisions, instead of having cookie cutter clones, uniforms, all one and the same, you know, all that shifting to a cooperative individual, sovereign individual, citizens. This is the original seed idea, by the way, in the United States, sovereign individual free citizens. So that idea gets them, everything gets corrupted and co-opted, you know. Patriotism can very easily be uh, used, like Caesar said, for, you know, you bang the drum of patriotism, you embolden the blood through anger, and then you shut down the mind, you know, of understanding. How do I know this, Caesar says? He says, because I do it. I have done it, you know. Um, so this is all changing, but the main change is the inner change first. This is why all teachers, Buddhists, Jesus, Krishna, so forth, master teachers, St. Francis, etc., have all talked about saving the individual, transforming the individual, waking up the individual, because that reverberates. Literally, when your energy field changes, you change the world around you. So doing the inner energetic shift in you. Just information is okay. At first, information, 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 information. You know, learn about the Fed, learn about free energy, learn about the reptilians, learn about, you know, the medical system, the cancer cures that exist that have been taken off, the 5,000 patents of free energy that have been pushed up, quote, for national security reasons. Learn all that stuff. The Illuminati, the World Bankers, blah, blah, blah. Learn all of it. But knowing it with your mind is not enough. Actually transmuting your energy field is what someone like a Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, so forth did. And this is becoming more and more readily available as more and more people do it. You know, there's going to be spontaneous awakenings like the last few shows we did about the Kundalini awakening, the dark night of the soul. This is the cleansing, you know. It's actually the, the, the awakening of the true divine div divinity of the individual. When you have thousands of Christs walking around, do you need a police force? No. So this is the, the real work is not just information, but personal transformation. And so that's what I'm interested in both. You know, I work with people, the inner body awakening, the alchemy process, the heart energy, um, these are personal techniques to apply, methods to apply to actually change your energy field and make you feel better, you know, uh, make, you, make you feel alive again, feel the life force again, feel enjoyment, being able to enjoy. A nation of people on the frequency of enjoying nature are not susceptible to being controlled by loveless, dark the bean counters, you know. So that's what I'm interested in. So you can ride this wave of these huge changes in the outer without them terrifying you if you learn to ride your own inner energies, your own inner shifts. Now, this is happening to many of us in ways that seem kind of scary. You know, we're having personal breakdowns of bankruptcy and relationships and divorces and health conditions that are our two by four wake up calls to the head of time to wake up, you know, get rid like Christy, your story about your health problems really triggered you, I think, into looking deeper probably. Yes. Well, I, yeah, I pretty much had no choice. I mean, I, yeah. I always knew there was something wrong, but I didn't know what right was. So I was just ready to, uh, you know, just drop what I thought I knew and try something else. What, what else can you do? Closed systems die. Open systems metamorphose, transform, and thrive. Closed systems die. Die. Open systems survive. Decide if you want to be a closed system, i.e., these are my beliefs. Most people's minds are like concrete. 
all mixed up and permanently set. Many people's minds are like concrete, all mixed up and permanently set. Their truths are just blind beliefs that will kill them. Yeah. Literally kill them. I trust my doctor. I worship my doctor. Doctor wouldn't feed me pills that the pharmaceutical rep has told him are right and he hasn't researched them himself. No, I trust him. I work with clients, you know, people that have horrible things happen by trusting thing, outer authority, inner authority, the inner, the still small voice is the only true guidance systems in these times, the inner still small voice. That's what you need to get acquainted with. You need to get your radio receiver through meditation, through the inner body awakening, through the full divine breath. You need to learn to start hearing that still small voice that will guide you personally, safely, and relatively smoothly through this 5,000 foot tsunami of energy that is going to be racing and is racing and will continue to do so for the years to come across the planet Earth. You're going to have to learn to let go. You're going to have to learn to let certain people in your life die. Shake the dust from your feet. It's not being cold, hard, callous. You can't rescue people against their will. You have to follow your new direction. You have to follow life instead of try to uh, stave off death. There's a difference. Yeah. Follow life instead of trying to keep death away. There's a difference. What you focus on is what you get. If you're focusing on keeping death away, you're still going to get death. If you focus on life, you get life. You know? So that's why often in communities like the vegetarian, vegan, or spiritual communities, they're still running from their fear, their pain, their shadow, you know? And if you're running from it, it's still going to get you because you're still being motivated by fear. Funny how we always run right back into another one, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm running away from this fear, and then you run right into it. You're yeah, going to keep experiencing it over and over until you, yeah. you know, stop running away from it. And feel some compassion for that, because the last known history on Earth, the last, well, about 10,000, let's see, the last 12,500 years have been a pretty rough ride on planet Earth. A lot of programming, a lot of survival of the fittest, a lot of uh, might is right. And so our souls have been traumatized by this pattern. And, you know, basically we have martial law on Earth right now. We have martial law. The police in America carry weapons. Weapons is martial law. We've had martial law. You've grown up in martial law. So... That's a scary place to have the air raid sirens going off, running by. Whenever I hear the sirens go by, I'm like, I'm in a freaking war zone, you know? And so we've grown up, and so our tender little babies, our tender children inside us have been traumatized. So for us to be able to let go of fear is quite a project, or let go of the programming and the patterns. So don't be patient with ourselves. You're going to have major ahas, blissful, you know, um, epiphanies, awakenings, and then you're going to go back and forth between that and hopelessness and so forth. You know, this is normal. Another huge shift in this whole new paradigm shift for the planet is we've judged our emotions, the body, and sex. We've judged them as somehow less than spiritual. That's my main work, my main interest, really, my main for the last 20 years has been to start to re-embrace the emotions, energy and motion. 20 years ago, God just said, look at the word emotions. Emotions, it should be energy and motions. Now that's in the popular culture. I love it. I love it, you know. And um, the, the, your sec our sexuality has to get healthy. That's a, that's a final, final gateway because it – unleashes everything unless you're doing sex and sort of shut down denial ways you know dark pornography there's there's good pornography and there's bad pornography in the sense of it's in denial or it's open you know or yeah make your it. own yeah, make, <laughs> make your own jam make Home your own pornography porn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. and be tender with ourselves we are like Rip Van Winkle, we've been asleep for 12,500 years, 
And now all of a sudden these energies are coming in saying, time to wake up. Of course you're going to be rusty, crusty, irritable, you know, not remember who you are, where you are. You're waking. I have an article called Waking from a Thousand Year Sleep. That's exactly what's going on for us. Yes. And so be patient with ourselves. You're going to flip-flop be between everything is beautiful, I feel one with the universe, to I hate the world, I want to die. This is part of the emotional clearing. You need to go back into these dark corners of toxicity. I had a client I work with today, God bless her. She's such a powerful, beautiful person. She jokingly told me, said, you know, since last week's session, I realized that I hate myself. <laughs> Yeah. Parts of myself. I hate parts of myself, she said. And, I, and it's just real progress that I can get honest about this. Yes. It's huge progress. This is coming out of denial. This is owning your energies. This is a huge shift, too. The old system of everything is fine, keep suppressing and repressing and taking my drugs. That system is going to die to what's most important is not production, but connection to the universe, not being a producer and consumer, but rather be, are, instead of asking people, how are you, or, you know, are you happy? We're going to ask them, do you feel connected? There's a difference, you know, Definitely. happy is surfaceness, connected is deep connectedness to the source of the universe. So yeah, I hear the music. I love that. All right. Very well said, Tobias. But we will be back, everyone. Stay tuned. Tobias Lars, Soul Counseling. It's time to get real and heal. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilant Brown Seaweed Extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called Laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of Laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilant. There's nothing else like Modifilant. It is the richest in alginate, Fucoidin, organic iodine, and Lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Fucoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifilant banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coaching. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. News and information you can trust. This is American Freedom Radio. Freedom, freedom, American Freedom Radio. Radio. American Freedom Radio. On AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Thank you so much for joining us here with Tobias Lars, uh, talking about death and dying and destruction. Wee and what do we have coming next? So his website is soulcounseling.com, or you can go to courseofawakening.com and find out about his uh, Sunday teleseminars. If you are unable to see him in person, uh, but also take a look at spiritualtravelers.com. That's spiritualtravelers.com and find out about how you can go uh, dance with the woofies or swim with the manatees and the dolphins and uh, maybe even an ayahuasca journey in South America. Uh, but Tobias. Yes, I'm you here. Got nine, you've got nine minutes. <laughs> I was going to say we were talking about death and destruction and upheaval. The word upheaval has the word heaven in it. Upheavening, 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 you know. And the fact is that the word apocalypse means full divine revelation. It means full divine revelation. So only those afraid of getting to know themselves getting to know the real true universe are going to be afraid of the apocalypse. Why wouldn't you want full divine revelation? Yeah. That's what we've been yakking about and praying for and hoping for and, you know, pushing for for thousands of years. So it's finally coming. And now we're going to go, no, I want my Cheetos and my drugs and my television. Really? 
you know, so it's actually a beautiful time that's coming. It's an awesome time to be alive. I feel the best I've ever felt in this lifetime. I finally feel free to, to be much more authentically myself. For all of you that have felt like I'm born on the wrong planet, I can't be authentic. I don't need to fit in. This is the time when you can finally come out, come out wherever you are. Come out, come out wherever you are. Show who you really are. You can do it. The Internet is there. Do your thing. Start your YouTube channels. Tell your truth. Start your dreams because you didn't come here if there, without a something for you to do. Now, I'm going to be very truthful. For some of you, that's to finish up some real harsh crap and to die and get off the planet. Now, that's harsh. But you're not going to be listening to me if, if that's what you're here for. But for others of you, it's is to wake up and to come into your glory and your dreams and your beauty again. And And don't worry. It's a loving universe. You're not in charge. Every piece of soul essence is taken care of perfectly, perfectly. The rest is belief systems and drama, trauma, and karma that we buy into. So it's an awesome time to be alive. Do your thing. We're, we're cleaning up a bunch of old karma, drama, trauma, and karma. And at the same time, the new is being born. So you're having the collapse of the old systems. Increasingly, Medicare, healthcare, Obamacare, all that stuff is going to be a flashpoint for hatred and anger and uh, giving our power to the government, and it's going to collapse in on itself. Yeah. Um, and that's beautiful. You, we want the collapse. You want the collapse of Stalinism. You want the collapse of governmentism. You want the I do. Are, do you like going to the MVD? Do you like having taxes and more and more regulations and and being told what you can and cannot do on your property? I don't, you know, so then learn to find the law of the universe, the natural law, God's law, sources law, the universal law inside yourself. That's the only thing you can depend on anyway. No, what are you going to depend on your social insecurity? Really? Hmm. That thing will be God predict right now. Ten years from now, there won't be social security. Yeah. They're gone. This generation right now, the World War II generation that's dying off, they're the last ones that will have lived that programmed life. It's that it's over. It's over. The only security is your own internal connection to God's source, and then you're always provided for, taken care of. And you have to live this to realize it. You have to live this to realize it. You can't read it in a book. You have to do it. Yes. You have to do it. When I'm, you know, so whenever people call me and go, you know, I'm at a total crossroads and everything is falling around me, and I'm like, fantastic. This is beautiful. Because if you're still arrogant and you think you know what's going on and you're feeding and living off the system and all that, your cup is full. Your cup is full. There's no, you can't receive any new understanding. So you need to have your cup destroyed. It's like that teaching when the student comes to the master, when the master uh, pours him tea, but he keeps pouring it and pouring it and pouring it and pouring it. And the student's like, what are you doing, master? It's getting all over the floor. He says, you are, you're you not empty yet. You're not ready to hear. You're not ready to receive. There's nothing I can give you. You're full already of yourself and all your understanding and all your belief systems. And those are going to get crushed out of people, whether it's your religion's failing medical system failing, the old system failing, but it's the phoenix. You know, in the ashes, the new is already being born. You know, again, like we started with, the apple trees out here, the ash trees, the cottonwood trees, they're not worried. They don't think it's over just because they drop all their leaves. They don't panic and go, oh, my God, I'm dying. No, it's called winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happens every year. Yeah. <laughs> every season that, for us too. Like, yeah, exactly. So we can't win, nor would we want to. And it's been insane that we have tried to dam the rivers, dam the natural cycles, dam the natural forces of hormones and energy and flow and feelings and emotions that occur in us. 
if the trees are beautiful, even if the countries aren't, the countries aren't that beautiful, we know that certain trees are very beautiful. If they're beautiful, how much more beautiful is a human being? We are incredibly beautiful. Hmm. We're incredibly beautiful. We have everything we need. The ultimate pharmacy is inside you, your thymus gland, your thyroid, your pineal, your pituitary, your spleen, your adrenals. All of that is a beautiful pharmacy, the best natural pharmacy ever. You are beautifully, perfectly created. Don't damn yourself. Start saying as wholesale shift, I want to know the natural cycles of the universe, the earth, myself. I want to have these natural energies. I want to cooperate with them. I'm tired of fighting myself. It's becoming a pain. As I started talking about my spleen, it started talking to me. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, we've gone so unconscious that one-tenth of our brain that we use, our consciousness that we use, the new model is we're going to start using more and more, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50%. We're going to start becoming fully enlightened. We're going to start becoming fully conscious of our star selves across the galaxy as well as our full participation on the planet here our full body's participation why could some um, students of yoga allow their an operation on them there was a story of a maharaja in india a hundred years ago who could allow the the um uh, what do you call it? The little piece of uh, intestine that's taken out. We don't know what it does. I can't, I can't remember right now. Your appendix. The no, appendix yeah. taken out without anesthesia. He would just put himself in a certain yogic state or an energetic state where he could feel the body full and allow it without pain. That's not possible. Yes, it is. Yeah. So there's going to be a massive much better system than our current oil-based, fear-based, banking, economic slave, told what to do, drugged up, zombie-like cult of a culture. Mm -hmm. It's really a beautiful thing coming. It's wonderful. It's over. The awakening has already happened on Earth from one perspective. The shift has already happened, but there's going to be some... Uh, death throes of the old system and some birth pangs of the new models for sure. And for you to walk safely through that, you will be walking through the apocalypse, the full divine revelation. Like St. Leonard Cohen says, there'll be naked white men dancing and <laughs> ghosts, you know, along the street. Depends on where you put your attention. If you put your attention on the death and destruction, or it absorbs your attention and hooks you, you can end up in some funky places. Not to deny it, but to feel both. The death throes and the birth pangs. The phoenix is always rebirthing itself. It's always been this way. This time the difference is, is that we're going to have a conscious civilization. Now whether that's 100 years from now or 250, big deal. It's time to get real. And you. MyTrueEssence.net would like to tell you about Modifilan Brown Seaweed Extract. It's composed of an elementally rich seaweed called Laminaria. It takes 40 pounds of Laminaria to make just one pound of Modifilan. There's nothing else like Modifilan. It is the richest in alginate, phocoidin, organic iodine, and lamarian. Alginates are the most effective organic element in nature that enable the body to rid itself of heavy metals, radioactive elements, and toxins. Phocoidin is an extremely effective anti-cancer substance found abundantly in brown seaweed. Organic iodine is the greatest protection for the thyroid offered by nature. Laminarin aids in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Go to www.mytrueessence.net and click the Modifilan banner to get started on your path to rich health today. Also check out the healing shop for proven essential oils, medicinal teas, and even health coach. It's time to get real and heal. Go to www.mytrueessence.net. Get real and heal. Listen to Christy on Soul Journeys Radio. 
You're listening to the future of talk. American Freedom Radio. This is American Freedom Radio.